Juan Soto is 100% going to be traded by the San Diego Padres this winter, according to ESPN journalist Buster Olin. But why? It's been reported that the San Diego Padres want to lower their payroll into the range of $200 million for the 2024 season. And according to Fangraphs, their payroll projects to be right around that $200 million mark. But that doesn't include Blake Snell or Josh Hader, who are both free agents. Juan Soto is a year away from free agency and is unlikely to sign an extension. He's also projected to make over $30 million in 2024, his final year of arbitration. And after the Padres vastly under achieved expectations in 2023, something needs to change. Trading Soto would lower their payroll and allow them to acquire cheap young talent. The most likely trade partners are probably the Yankees and Mets. But there's also been rumors about the Red Sox, the Cubs, the Cardinals, the Blue Jays, and the Dodgers. He just turned 25 years old, and his career OPS Plus is 157. That puts him just ahead of Frank Thomas and Hank Aaron, meaning he's on track to be one of the greatest hitters in history. And his career on base percentage is 19th in MLB history, just ahead of Mickey Mantle. Yes, he's been a little bit disappointing during his time in San Diego. So a lot of people are down on him. However, in 2023, he had a 1026 OPS on the road, which was third in MLB. Meaning, get him out of San Diego and we might have an even better play. While there's talk of the Yankees signing Cody Bellinger, I don't see how the Yankees wouldn't prefer to sign Juan Soto. I think he gets traded to the Yankees and then signs a long-term extension.